County. Better than dangerous. Oh well, if nothing else, I can at least steal all the stuff on the counters. No, can't get into that though. Welcome K Marine. Okay, reception logs. Log entry ranges day one to one ten. No visitors, no visitors. Uh, zero six one. Sometimes we experience long power outages. Sitting in the dark, listening to the storm, beat at the walls. I've got a lot of time to think. It begs to be let in. While I would go play, uh, no. It begs to be let in. While I would pay to be let out. No visitors. Still no visitors. Okay, day one fifteen. Why is there a bunch of tailless sprats running around? The facility don't have a sprat catcher on the roster. Maybe I should file a request with a acquisition for uh, a, a request with acquisitions for one. E cup candid candidates are famed for their ability to hunt sprats, after all, and for keeping people company. No visitors. No visitors. Can't finish a game of solitaire. Someone stole a handful of cards from my desk. Desk command. Unsuccessfully hunted for the missing cards. A three. Uh, candid request. Candid request was denied. We've run out of caffeinoid. Our first restocking shipment isn't set to arrive until the new fiscal year. I guess that delivery will mark the facility's first visitors. Now there's something to look forward to. Did some digging in the system records. It turns out our supplies are set to be delivered by, get this, a crew of auto mechanicals. Day 182. Though I hear knocking on the front door, uh, thought I heard knocking on the front door, but it turned out to be just be some thunder. Always thunder. Funny how it can sound like so many different things. A boom, a crack, a slap, knocking, laughing, dreams. Or day two, 277. I started venturing outside. At first, I was worried about something. F uh, I was worried something fierce about all the lightning strikes. Sometimes the electrical electrical mechanical turbine goes on the fritz without warning. But I'm out of cards and out of caffeinoid, so there's not much else to do. Day 301. Turns out I no longer need to feel safe. What I need is to feel alive. Outside, the wind howls like a raging god, and the rain stabs my into my throat like a thousand tiny needles. And in the pain, well, I feel so very alive. Day 322. My many and varied attempts to trigger an all uh, an on-site inspection from the special committee for auditing and management have failed. Day 353. Sometimes, when I look over the ledge, I think about what it would feel like, how easy it'd be to simply tip forward and plummet with all those clouds kissing my face, to fall away from the storm, to smile, then break. I mean, the isolation sending them mad. Or has sent them mad. And somebody broke in and killed a bunch of people. Was that the scientist trying to escape, or was that. No, that, they'd be named, I think. Um, what? Hello? Determination. Repeatedly buzzed the intercom. I'm the captain of my own ship. Open up and I'll get away get you away from Olympus. Really? I would be indebted to you for life. But how do I know I can believe you? I have a very trustworthy face. I'll have to come out to assess it myself. Hold on. I'm opening the door. Not the brightest, is she? Hello. Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. 
Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? Who are you? I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire. Because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. How do you get supplies then? Do I need to switch out personnel? Project's on a yearly rotation cycle. Once a year, anti clear reviews our work and decides if we get more rations, personnel, deadlines, that sort of thing. At first, I thought it was an honor getting assigned to a lab up in the ether high above Olympus. But I didn't know what it'd be like, day in and day out. I'm guessing it was boring. Oh, actually, how did you not lose your mind? I asked myself that question a lot, and then I realized I'm talking to myself. Cabin fever sets in at about 90 days. Auntie Cleo's official term is contagious irritable claustrophobia. And it ain't covered by the company's medical policy. Hmm. Yeah, I'll bet. After a while, you start imagining things. Unhealthy things. Like what might happen if you triggered pink slip protocol. I did try once or twice, but wasn't ever successful. Now I'm glad. Mm. But enough about me. I never did ask why you were here. I'm looking for Dr. Joseph Law Lowe. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the automex too. Um, anything else you can tell me before I go? Like what? Why is everyone dead? Pink slip protocol. The company decided to terminate the team. Why? How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Yeah, it's still harsh. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, you're developing it? Hold on. This place was called Oops. Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. Yeah. What did you mean about taking a walk off a turban platform? Not that we haven't read your journal already. Just a feeling I got. Every day was the same as every other day. I felt like I was stuck in a circle, you know? Started imagining what it'd be like to break that circle. Station goes in a circle around the planet, so what if I just dropped off the edge? But after what I've seen, after what happened, I don't want that anymore. I want to live. Good. What's the purpose of this facility? What were you making? I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to anti Cleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more than that. I've got a ship. Need a lift out of here? Do I ever? Drop me off on the groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Cool. Thanks, I guess. Steal all the bits and pieces. Right, so we are fighting yet more auto mechanicals. Goody goody gumdrops. Doop 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 doop. I think that's everything. Right, well. Let's 
see here. Let oh, okay. I'm guessing I'll see her back on the ship. Let's go up here and see what this we can do. Stable, right? Ada checked before we docked. Captain? Um, maybe? Right, uh, da -da -da. uh... Oh, hello. Something I can actually lockpick. Huzzah! They can't keep us out. No, they can't. Oh, bugger. Heal. Boom, boom, boom. Heal. No. Save me, Phineas! Oh! No! Something shot me in the head instead. Okay. Right, let's try that again then. Oh, bugger. Okay, fine. Everything? I think that's everything. Cool. Right, up the ladder again. Do 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 ba ba. Yeah, I'm sure. It'll be fine. It's survived a year. It'll probably survive a bit longer. Lock. Beep. Cool. That. Save. Open door. Ow. Yeah, noticed. Thank you. Right. That's what killed me last time. No. Fuck you, have. Damn, no. Hate those little fly things. At least I saved. I have. I hate those little fly things. The electric balls. I remember the final boss of this game, and they were a pain in the backside for ages. Okay, go on, go on. Crumbs. Reload. Load. Heal. Oh, crumbs. Run away. 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 Oh. Die! Oh no, he's not dead. Okay, fine. Oh, that's a window. Oh, Claudin Bennett! I hate those big Sam unit things. Ah. Fine, um. Right, right. Four. 
Reload. Don't dodge you. There, cool. I'm taking that. <laughs> Gordon Bennett, that was a pain. All right, let's loot everything. Everything. Pink slip protocol. God damn it. Oh, where are you? You, yeah, you were one of those big guys. Okay, well, now you're not, no longer alive, and that's fine by me. Ooh. Four dead scientists. Another dead scientist. And a terminal. Okay, here we go. A bit of background information then. So, welcome to the project. What is Anfilosin Plus? Anfilosin Plus mint flavor. Works on humans plus candids. Just added a plus sign to the name. As you can see, branding is still working out the kinks. But well, luckily, we've plenty of time to finish the formula before they finalize the packaging and the slogans. Now, let's get to work brewing a bigger, better version of Auntie's Anthracillin. Reminder, friends don't let friends self-test their concoctions. <laughs> Project updates. Notice effective immediately. Team, we're temporarily redirecting our efforts to perfecting Dr. Lowe's Propri proprietary sky high mix with maxima which maximizes genius and productivity after sampling dr lowe's sky high mix the team agrees that this will enable us to reach our original project goals better in the long run and is worth a mandatory detour yates project data okay files available for access bad bad a note on today's meeting notes. Oh, go on, Bennett, really? A note on today's meeting notes. The record is abbreviated due to an unscheduled chemical leak in... Oh, yeah. Uh, in the preeminated... Uh, the preempted uh, pre the meeting room. The resulting and immediate inhalation of noxious gases causing double vision, hallucinations, and uncontrollable sense of giddiness. And... Uh, and un bah, try that again. An uncontrollable sense of giddiness and project, uh, projective vom projectile vomiting. Side effects occurred in all meeting participants. As such, we cut the time block down to one hour from the standard two-hour review. Oh, that is monstrous. Meeting notes. Dr. Lowe. Where the devil is Sullivan? I told the numbskull he, if he misses one more staff meeting... He couldn't make it, Doctor. He caught his hand in a specimen slicer again. A splicer again. Oh, you mean his remaining hand? Not any. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> what was that? I hear something. Nothing. No, I'm sure it sounded like. Perhaps it was your imagination, Doctor. Right, right. When, uh, when it isn't it, Jasper. When isn't it? At this, at any rate, he'll require a replacement. For his hands? Don't be arsenine. For his productivity, we can't risk falling behind. Not now. Not when we are. At, not when I am at a, uh, at long last on the cusp of a breakthrough. You've balanced the mixture, then. Marvelous, Doctor. Bootlicker. Um. I'll have Ken put a request in for the personal transfer. If it is very lucky, we may get a new body with a supply drop coming next month. Elsewise, I'll have you... Uh, we'll have to wait a year. No, no, no. This is unacceptable. I distinctly smell... Uh, what imbecile scheduled a testing release in this time block? The room is allocated for self-testing on Thursdays only. I don't... Blah. Okay, fair enough. End of meeting notes. Testing data. Sky High Mix Test Concoction 009B. Administered to Reptodon... Reptodon Explorer... 
<laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> administered to Reptidon. Reptidon exploded. Administ administered a lower dosage. Reptidon exploded, but much, uh, but more slowly. Sky High Mix. Test concoction 009C. Administered single drop to self. Woke on a turbine platform, naked, drenched, and holding a handful of severed sprat tails. Sky High Mix. Test concoction 010. Missed place calculations. Sky High Mix. Stout test concoction 018. Zero A plus added mint flavoring. <laughs> Tested on candid. Ref markedly improved. Candid exploded. <laughs> My sort of research notes. Progress report. Milestone met. Milestone one met. Milestone two met. Then they missed every other one until milestone twelve, which is in progress. Okay then. Then I'm guessing what happened is Lowe's side gig into the sky high stuff then met they meant meant they missed all of these deadlines and then anti cleo gave them the pink slip protocol fair enough well that was the risk they took he took man is probably a, the combination of a genius and an idiot but there we go Right, let's have a shifty around here. Okay, so that's Dr. Lowe's office. Yates, where did I put... Th oh, yeah, Yates is dead. Well, that's probably for the best. That... Hmm... Oh, there's an office over there. So rather than talking to him in there, let's go and have a look at the office over here. Yeah, that's going to require the turbine platform keycard, and we don't have that. So, sure. There's stuff. What's in here? Thankfully, no robots. That would have been annoying. I wonder if there's a scientist knocking around who doesn't have any hands. That would be quite an interesting one. Um... Ooh, there's a safe I can't access. Boo! Take that, take that, take that. I'm guessing, also, looking at my level up gauge, that I don't get any more levels. Now, that's annoying. Hey, here we go. Password disabled. Notice, password input disabled. Too many failed attempts. Last login. Perfect recall when the numbers and letters were swimming around on one page at the time. Doesn't help with... <laughs> Passwords. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Incoming messages. Who lead chemist Dr. Joseph Lowe from Anti Cleo's corporate headquarters, Chief Efficiency Inspector, Dr. Elona Mora. Subject. A last and lethal warning. Pink slip protocol will be coming. Uh, re re progress report. Advisory notice. Uh, advisory notice to the lead chemist on the Olympus orbital. The Olympus orbital pharmaceutical station. Number. Uh, no satisfactory results have been submitted in eleven months. This one to clause 0059 PSP dash seven three three dot two five. If measurable and material proof of progress are not submitted within 31 days, station personnel may be found to be in derelation of duty and as a result could be permanently termi uh, prematurely terminated. Anti Cleo's corporate headquarters, special committee for auditing and management. Who cares about your health more than Anti Cleo? Nobody. Postscript. Yes, my darling genius. As you are likely now aware, I must humbly regret to inform you that my exhaustive efforts to protect that beautiful oversized brain of yours, and consequently its nefarious agenda, are in fact failing faster than your rumoured last project on Gorgon. I repeat, the corporate hounds are onto your dodgy, uh, doggy, uh, onto your doggy scent, uh, dodgy scent, and it, <laughs> and it's made them thirsty and bay for blood. 
if I cannot supply the executive floors with tangible, uh, undocturable results, and soon, I am heartbroken to report that Pink Slip Protocol will be initiated by a majority vote and the project will be scrubbed, wholly and completely. I trust you understand the full weight of what that means. One canned project is an embarrassment of an epic proportion. Twice is unforgivable. Please, 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 I am begging on, on bended knee, send me a working prototype at this stage. Even a fatally flawed one will do. Save yourself and your lab coats before this reflects poorly on my permanent record. Eternally yours, at least until the next failed delivery milestone, your Chief Efficiency Inspector, Dr. Mora. Outgoing messages. Dr. Laura Mora from Joseph Law. Uh, Joseph Lowe, even. Uh, da 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 da. Nomura, my once darling, as you are likely now aware, I don't want you to beg. I don't want you to you on bend a knee. I don't want anything except to feed the infernal, insatiable, insa indefensible, insatiable need. I am so close. I am very nearly on the cusp of salvation. Then, and only then, will I send you that blasted Anthracillin Plus. A ludicrously simple modification I could formulate in my sleep, were I ever able to sleep. No longer yours, no longer anyone's, but the elusive and fleeting embrace of chemical vituity, with regret, Jasper. You understand, do you not, darling? From the very first test, from the very first accursed step, every path, every indefinitely, uh, infinitely random dice roll of emerging cosmic roots was leading us to this same destiny. Okay then, sure. So basically, I can do it in my sleep, but uh, uh, 11 months have passed and you've not. Oh, so there we go. Draft. Scam. What? Oh, hello. Hashtag scam from Dr. Dr. Jasper Lowe. Venting, do not send. Pink slip protocol. Really? You whole heads went there. Really? You whole heads went there. Never would I have thought you'd stoop so low, or more accurately, to be so moronic as to cut off your own nose to spite your faces. True, the project was delayed, but we all know it would have delivered more than adequate results eventually, once I assembled the highest peak, ascended to the highest peak of my genius. You were less than months away. Now that I expect, now that I'd expect a pea-brained, not that I'd expect a pea-brained, a pea-brained layman to understand. Nora is wasted on you lot. I am wasted on you lot. And might I just add, though I might have invented, invited you to do your worst, you did try your best, but I am still alive. Nevertheless, I do go on, and I never Never forget. Payback will be swift. Oh yes. I scarcely think you've seen it, you'll see it coming. Just as soon as I perfect my formula and can focus on another ma on other matters, then when you then then you will rule the day you pink slipped the great Jasper Lowe. Buffoons, eternally misunderstood and undervalued, and still misanthropic. Uh, misappropriating your precious company resources the employee formerly so known as dr jasper low send message <laughs> <laughs> oh no right well he's scuppered isn't he i might have just scuppered myself as well <laughs> he returned to root well there we go that was a fun one wasn't it that should have been an achievement oh hello there's something in there um, I can't get up there. Deed that. There we go. Hello, Sprat. Goodbye, Sprat. What's in here then? I'll take that. And I'll take that. Nothing there. Take that. Reno. Take that. Take that. There's a lot of Sprats knocking around. Take that. And that. That and that and that and that and that. And that. I think that's everything. I don't have a key card to get out of there though, so up the ladder we go. Da 
There we go. And... Ooh. Is this the turbine room? It might be the turbine room, actually. It's also probably got full of robots, isn't it? Um, yes, it is. Well, unfortunately... Actually, why am I doing that? What I need to do is I need to save the game here. Because we will have to continue this next time. Oop. It's now six o'clock on my end, and therefore it is time for me to call it, call the stream there. But we have done quite a lot. We, that's the wrong one. We have, well, we've done the main story. We finished exploring the thing, the marketing department on Gorgon. We wandered around a bit. We ventured into the tower. We went back to Byzantium and caused a bit of a ruckus. We now have a pet thing, apparently, called Anubis. We've encountered cows in the ship, and I have no idea where they came from, but those cows then later disappeared for reasons. Then we saved the ship from a bunch of pirates who were trying to kill us. We've met a mysterious overlord who wants us dead, and now we're explo well, we've ventured back to Groundbreaker, and thanks to Pavati and her girlfriend, we've managed to get our way through the gardeners and sort out a bunch of stuff and upset a worm. Unfortunately, poor Percy. Well, maybe you'll get fed later. And then this, fought some robots, died several times, saved a girl, and now we're going to go and talk to the great genius, Dr. Lowe, who sounds like an utterly delightful individual, I'm sure. So with that said, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio, it's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate if you hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, for uh, though my schedule will be changing in a week's time, but now I stream every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock British Summer Time and every Saturday at 2 o'clock British Summer Time. If you ever want to catch any of these streams, well, all of this, my streams are available in one form or another in the video section of this very channel. But if the Twitch player isn't your thing, you can also find our playlists of every journey we've been on from the, from our original run of The Outer Worlds to our previous journey through 100%ing Ghost of Tsushima or Final Fantasy VII Remake or earlier this year we rolled we wrapped up our full let's play of the Kingdom Hearts franchise. So you can find all that in the playlist in the YouTube archive, which is linked in the panels down below, as well as my Twitter, where I usually put ramblings, maybe an occasional drawing, and generally news about the channel and when I go live. So drop me a follow there as well if you feel like it. And I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you beautiful people. Thank you for joining me on this journey, be it live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archive or even in the VOD section. May you all have a beautiful evening, morning or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are. And as always, until our paths next cross again, the Vortex awaits and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>